John Ivankovic and Jeff Cole here. We're today taking a look at an absolutely beautiful 1971 Chevelle. Um, Jeff, tell us a little bit about it. I understand the engine's a little different than yes, 1971. Sir, this, is, this is for the guy who owns the big block. This is a 454 cubic inch. We'll take a quick look. Very well uh, done engine work here. I love what they've done underneath the hood here with the underhood and whatnot. Again, very good attention to detail when they restored this car. Does have factory air, you know, which is a very nice addition. We do see power steering as well. Guys, a perfect example of what a resto mod can be done because I don't believe this can, would have come stock with a 454 back in, so it's not numbers matching. Perfect color combination for here in the south. Resale red with the black <laughs> vinyl top. Very nice black interior. Again, a good. Good driver, good entry level classic that if you maintain, you're not going to break the bank. Um, John, what do we show this one listed at there? $38,999, which I feel is pretty fair. Yeah, for a 69, I mean, excuse me, 71. Yeah, we just sold a blue 69, forgive me, I had that one in my mind. Yeah. Chevelles don't usually last long of this quality in the big blocks. They, uh, they do draw a lot of attention. I actually got to drive this car. Yeah. Kind of scary <laughs> fast. Yeah. It's a lot of fun to drive. It has a really neat switch on the dash that goes to a straight pipe, and oh, boy, it's got the, it's got the give okay. you some noise, that's Very for sure. Nice. Other than that, it's got a pretty stock look. You've got the uh, rally wheels here. Again, the uh, final you have seen in the late 60s. I saw one of these go across the uh, line last night in Vegas. I the uh, yellow in the last 69. I see that interior is in good shape, too. And that car sold for much more than we're asking for this one. Did it? Oh, boy. It did. It did. Um, you know, I think some people get caught up in the atmosphere of Barrett and whatnot, and it's a great program, but if you'll do a little bit of investigation and call John on some of these vehicles, you'll find that you can save a lot of money and still have just as nice a vehicle. And on our consignments, we knew who owned them, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we do try to get as much information from each owner as we can as to the history. Some cars will have a uh, vast amount of information and receipts and whatnot, but it does vary from owner to owner, so we uh, call you or myself for any of the particulars on a vehicle. We'll do our best to answer any questions or concerns someone may have. And a bit of advice as we bring that up. If you own a classic car, keep those receipts, keep anything that you can think of, because the previous owners want to know everything that was done to that car. This is more of a labor of love than just a car to drive. So if you have those receipts, keep them. Yep. As always, 770-605-2056. and cell phone is 770-883-9263. We'll look forward to seeing you all out on the road. Thanks, John.